department passed a law trying to regulate uh, specifically to make vehicles that come to the country safer for both the users and other people uh, in the country. That is uh, accepted. But I want to call upon the Ghana Standards Authority to hasten slowly, probably suspend the implementation on this basis. They, sh they must learn from uh, the hasty implementation of the luxury vehicle tax. They must learn from the uh, hasty suspension of the collection of road tolls. They must learn from uh, other laws that were passed in this house and without adequate preparation, consultation and public education implemented and drove us all into problem. As we speak that uh, 891 that we are talking about talked about the fact that uh, we are going to set up uh, the, a new system where brand new vehicles are assembled in this country uh, to make them more available. The first question is, how many companies are assembling vehicles in this country and what are the choices of vehicles available to the, to the Ghanaian? Are those vehicles at prices that the ordinary Ghanaian, the, a journalist, a teacher, a nurse can afford? Even thinking of when we pass the law and the, the state of the economy today, even if you are selling those vehicles for $5,000, do you know what $5,000 means to the average Ghanaian that will buy them? Then we go to the, the point of uh, used vehicles uh, needing to have conform, a conformance uh, certificate. Nobody is encouraging vehicles that have been totally condemned, I mean accident vehicles that are no longer fit for purpose to be brought to, to this country.